Hello viewers, good evening and welcome to exclusive episode of Nagoric Face View. Nagoric Face View is a platform which allows you to express your opinion and thoughts, which is a practice of your freedom of expression, your political rights along with your social view. I am Shafina and I'll be hosting this special Face View program. And it's about federal by-election, as you know that in February 2019, there will be held one in Otromo riding of Montreal. Today's guest is Rachel Bendayan, lawyer in international law and former chief of staff in the Trudeau government. She was the candidate for the Liberal Party of Canada in 2015 in Côte de Neige and Autremont, and she is seeking again the nomination for the Liberal Party of Canada for the federal by-election. So let's go, please welcome her here in Nagoric TV's studio. Hello and welcome to Nagorik TV's studio. Thank you for being here with us today. Oh, thank you so much. Shubhashunda, everybody. It's such a pleasure to be here on Nagorik TV. Thank you so much. It's really appreciated that you, you are giving us your time for this live show. Of course. And we're going to know you today. Yes. Great. I'm very excited. Perfect. Me too. I'm so excited too. And um, so first of all, welcome here. And then we would like to know about you yourself and uh, also you are going to tell us about, about your uh, background in uh, particularly your career as a lawyer. Sure. I was a lawyer for nearly 10 years uh, at uh, the law firm in Montreal called Norton Rose Fulbright. And uh, my specialty, in addition to doing all kinds of commercial litigation, was really in international arbitration. And uh, as you can imagine, all of the trade agreements that mm -hmm. Canada signs with other countries, there are a number of uh, arbitrations that come from those. And, and that was the area of law that I specialized in. And it was a very interesting practice. Okay, great. Ten years. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so you are an expert level now. So would you like to tell us about um, your motivation behind getting involved into the politics? Sure. I mean, I got involved a very long time ago, almost 18 years ago, I think, uh, in the Liberal Party. I was a, a young student that was very interested in uh, helping my country and, uh, of course, at the time, it was uh, a very interesting uh, moment in Canadian history, and so my involvement in the Liberal Party was very exciting to me, and it still is today. I uh, what, had many positions in the Liberal Party. I was involved in the Outremont Riding Association. I was also uh, the legal advisor for the National Liberal Party for several years, and then I decided to run as a candidate in 2015. It was uh, a decision that I didn't take lightly. It was after a lot of uh, thought and also discussing with my husband. It's a big step to uh, launch yourself into the, uh, the proverbial political spotlight and, and become a candidate. But I did it because I felt uh, compelled that I had to. It was 10 years that we had Stephen Harper as the Prime Minister of Canada, and I really felt that it was time for a change. And I really supported Justin Trudeau then as our party leader and now as our Prime Minister. Yeah, that's so you have seen a lot of ups and downs and um, a lot of changes. So how do you find it? It was 18 years back and now is a big difference or the party has changed a except you have a lot of experience now <laughs> yes yes yeah. uh, i've i've been able to learn the political process and of course get experience in uh, in the party but i would say also that the party has changed a lot we have a new generation of uh, young uh, political minds that are active thinking of policy and ideas for the liberal party and we also have uh, a lot of young um, community members from the bangladesh community very involved especially here in Montreal and in, in my riding in Côte d'Ineige and Outremont. They should be getting involved more and more, you think? I think so. Young generation? The, yeah, the next generation it, it needs to be part of the political process, in my Christ. view. And uh, we are As you started. Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Back then, yeah. So yeah. You, you encourage also the young generation to get involved into it. And uh, they need a background if they want to come and join... 
I encourage everybody, even people who have no political background or not even studying pol politics at all, to uh, come and be part of uh, my campaign team. In 2015, a lot of people were saying that mm. I had one of the youngest uh, campaigns uh, in the country. There was a lot of students uh, from University of Montreal, from McGill, from Concordia, uh, from all over the city that were very interested in having mm. a first experience in politics, and we welcomed everybody. Okay, that's great. So campaign for party nomination is almost over, uh, which is on 16th of December. Uh, and how do you, uh, I mean, up to now, so far, how did it go? It's been wonderful. I have a lot of support from all kinds of different communities in the uh, in the riding. Uh, people already know me, so sometimes when I'm walking down the street, you know, they they stop me and they right. say, well, are you, were, "You were on the posters." And uh, it's nice to also have that connection with people because they remember me from uh, from before, and so it's a familiar face. Uh, I also knocked on thirty thousand doors in 2015, so it was a lot of doors, and uh, people remember. Remember when you take the time to go and see them, mm -hmm. uh, especially when I go now in the winter, people think I'm crazy because it's <laughs> minus, minus 15 outside, but we still knock on doors because I think that even in this age where everybody is connected on social media and on the internet, it's still important to see a, a politician and look them in the eye and have a conversation with them and understand that there is a trust that can be built between uh, you know the politician and the, the citizens right so. so this is important you think to to build a connection in between uh, the personal connection okay I think it's that's very great important. yeah me do i like it when somebody knocks my door i want to see and i go to when i go to to vote someone i think of that person that yeah. person came to see me okay he came to say hello and yeah it's good it's, it's a real good. person. It, becomes it is, a real person. exactly, because yes. we see papers, posters, and when we see somebody face to face, it's really good. Okay, keep doing what you're doing. That's yes. awesome. Keep, keep knocking on doors. <laughs> That's it, yes. And also, Autrement yes. uh, is uh, such a diverse place. Why Autrement? Uh, what sets the riding apart? It is actually one of the most diverse areas in yes. the country. Uh, Cote de Neige especially is where a lot of uh, new, uh, newly arrived uh, immigrants settle in Montreal and it's where my parents came and settled when they arrived uh, in, in Montreal and it's where I was born. And I think that the diversity of, of Outremont as a, as a riding is what makes it so special. And one of the things that I've been focusing on in my campaign is to bring people together to celebrate that diversity. You know, as Justin Trudeau always said, uh, right. the diversity is our strength and I really try and bring that to the riding in, in our events and in our uh, communications and certainly in the, in the spirit of my campaign. Great. And you said your parents, um, so you were born here, but your parents, are they also born here or they came from uh, another place, like another country? Yes, both my parents were born in Morocco in Tangier. Okay. Uh, my mother came when she was uh, one years old and my father came when he was 18. And uh, and they met here and uh, and I was born in, in Cote de uh, I was the first in my family to be born here. And uh, when I meet people, especially in Cote de that is something that they really identify with because it's the story of so many of the residents in the riding. That's yeah. right. So um, we have recently observed uh, your presence in event um, organized by Bangladeshi community. Uh, what do you like about our community? Do I, you mind telling us? Yes, <laughs> I've been attending uh, events in the Bangladeshi community for many years now. I feel very close to this community and uh, uh, the music is one of the things that I uh, think of when I think of the Bangladeshi community and the pride, of course, in uh, in the language as well. And uh, I've been attending Language Day for many, many years and celebrating uh, with the Bangladeshi community all kinds of events and the food, of course, which is wonderful. <laughs> yeah. but also dresses, I think. <laughs> yes, yes, the beautiful outfits and the, yeah. and the saris. And, and I think that it's important also to, to recognize that so many of the values of the Bangladeshi community, the values of community and of family, are also my values. And, and that's wonderful too to share. 
Okay, great. So do you know a lot of people uh, from our community? You work with our community people as well? Like for your campaign, did you get some support from our community too? Yes, I did. Yeah. For many members of the community, I was very lucky to have been working with them. Even in 2015, uh, a lot of the community leaders and still today uh, that they are with me. And, and I feel that connection because it's been so many years is, is, is much stronger and, and tighter uh, than ever. So I, I feel very lucky to have the support of so many in the community and I think we'll hear from from some of them today exactly now uh, how about the language do you do you find it it's a barrier because when people come from our country especially not the young age but when they're elderly how do you how do you what's your comfortable comfort level to to talk with them if they don't know French or English or mm, either or so how do you communicate with them but don't like, bad for the question. Don't bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very important that. Uh, so you learned some of our some, some words uh, from um, yeah. Bengali. Uh, yes, okay. I, okay. because right. I think it's important that yes, you learn. Um, we speak in English or French, but I should also speak a few words uh, if I can. Um, you know, I speak English, French, and Spanish, but I would like to add maybe Bengali one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but mm -hmm. I don't think that language is a barrier. I think languages uh, are beautiful. And even in their diversity, we, we all speak um, and can communicate in many different ways with, through body language and, and also through, um, through expression, exactly. different forms of expression, and we understand each other. So obviously you enjoy this. You enjoy working with people. Yes. Like you're connecting with people, which is really good. And, uh, and um, in that note, uh, so here, when you studied, you studied here. Yes. Like your your study was in in law. You study. Yes, my first degree was in international development. Um, yeah. Learning about international relations and international uh, development because that was a passion of mine. And uh, I remember uh, attending several uh, United Nations uh, conferences and summits and. Uh, you know, in in the field of international development mm -hmm. specifically, and thinking that a law degree would really help me make a bigger difference in that area, and uh, and I was very pleased, you know, to to follow in the footsteps of a lot of uh, you know great lawyers who gave me a, a advice along the way, and uh, in, including Mark Lalonde, who was the former MP for Outremont and also okay. a, a lawyer in international uh, arbitration, Erwin uh, Kotler, who is also a very famous. Minister of Justice, uh, who gave me a lot of advice along the way. And I think that it's important that um, even with the 10 years of experience that I had as a lawyer, that I bring that experience also, hopefully, to Ottawa um, as we review legislation and uh, do the important work that our parliamentarians in mm -hmm. the House of Commons do. Okay, great. All the best. Now, I have to take a Skype call. I'm, oh, gonna, uh, I'm okay. sorry, I'm going to take a video call. Uh, I will have someone here. And I'll, I'll get back to you after that call. So, uh, viewers, we're going to take a video call now. And the call, uh, we, I'm calling uh, Freedom Fighter Engineer Shakwa Thosen, a member of the Board of Director of Papino Liberal Federal Association. And he has been involved in Liberal Party over 30 years, as well as a good friend of Honorable Mr. Justin Trudeau. So, uh, so viewers, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, as soon as I, I am able to contact him, I will talk to him. I, I think, think he's there. Janab Sakata Sen, apni amak shunte patsi. Ji shunte patsi. Apne ki shagir to jana chhi nagrik face view te, ami shashila kareem. Ji. Kya mona chhi? Ji aasi, ami bhalo aasi. Apni kya mona chhi? আমি ভালো আছি তো আজকে তো দেখছেন আমাদের অতিথি হিসেবে এখানে আছেন রেচেল বেনডাইন এবং তিনি আপনি জানেন লিবারেল নমিনেশন ক্যান্ডিডেট তো আপনার কাছে আমার জানার আছে আপনার সাথে তার কিভাবে পরিচয় হলো এবং কিভাবে আপনি জানেন ওনাকে যদি একটু বলতেন আমাদের দর্শকের উদ্দেশ্যে আমার 2014 সালের সামারের দিকে একবার একটা ছিল কনফারেন্স ছিল লিবারেল পার্টি সেই কনফারেন্সে জাস্টিন টুডু ছিল উনিও ছিলেন উনি এখানে নতুন ওখানে ওনাকে পরিচয় করে পাওয়া তখন আমার উনি যখন 
স্টেজ থেকে উনি নেমে আসেন তখন ওনার সাথে দেখা হয় আমার এবং আমি কথা বলি আমি বলি যে আমি ওনার পার্শ্ববর্তী রাইডিংয়ের আমি একজন লিবার পার্টির মেম্বার অফ দি ডাইরেক্টরস অফ পপিউ রাইডিং ওনার সাথে অনেক কথা হয় এবং ইলেকশনে আমি কিভাবে ওনাকে হেল্প করতে পারি এ ব্যাপারে কথা বলি এবং ওই বছর লাস্ট ইলেকশনে আমি ওনাকে আমার অনেক ভলান্টিয়ার্স নিয়ে ওনাকে অনেক হেল্প করি আমি এতে অনেক ওনার অনেক সাহায্য হয় এবং এতে অনেক ভোটের ভোট পায় चेस्टा कर তো আপনি উনি যদি নমিনেশন পান এবং উনি যদি পার্লামেন্টে যান আমাদেরকে রিপ্রেজেন্ট করেন তাহলে আপনি মনে করেন কিভাবে আমাদের কমিউনিটি উপকৃত হবে ওনার সাথে আমি আমার অনেকবার কথা হইছে যে কিভাবে আমরা তাকে কেন আমরা সিলেক্ট করব আপনি আপনার মতামতটা যদি একটু বলেন মতামত উনি খুব বাংলাদেশীদের প্রতি খুব বাংলাদেশীদের পছন্দ করে উনি এবং বাংলাদেশের প্রতি খুব আনুগত্যশীল তো উনি বলেছেন যে বাংলাদেশে কোনো ইমিগ্রেন্টের কোনো স্পন্সারের কোনো সমস্যা থাকলে বা ইমিগ্রেশনের কোনো প্রবলেম থাকলে আমাকে বলবেন আমি তাদেরকে হেল্প করব এবং অন্য আরেকটা বিষয় আছে উনি বর্তমানে ইয়েতে স্মল ইন্ডাস্ট্রিজ ডেভেলপমেন্ট কর্পোরেশনের সাথে উনি জড়িত আছেন এবং উনি আমাকে বলেছিলেন যে যদি কেউ বা তোমাদের কমিউনিটি থেকে ছোট স্মল ইন্ডাস্ট্রি উঠতে চায় আমার কাছে আসলে পরে আমি হেল্প করতে পারব এইটা একটা বিরাট কিছু যদি আমাদের কমিউনিটির কেউ এটা করতে চায় করতে পারবে উনি তাকে হেল্প করবে আচ্ছা আপনাকে অনেক ধন্যবাদ আমাদের আজকে সময় দেবার জন্য আপনি ভালো থাকবেন এবং আপনার জন্য শুভকামনা থাকলো অনেক অনেক শুভেচ্ছা শুভরাত্রি ধন্যবাদ আপনাদেরকে অনেক শুভেচ্ছা আপনাদের আমাকে একটু বলতে চান দেওয়ার জন্য ভালো থাকেন সুপ্রিয় দর্শক আমরা কথা বললাম বীর মুক্তিযোদ্ধা ইঞ্জিনিয়ার সাখাওয়াত হোসেনের সঙ্গে এবং এখন আবার আমরা ফিরে আসছি আমাদের স্টুডিওতে আমাদের যিনি অতিথি আছেন আমাদের সাথে রেচেল বেন্ডায়েন তার কাছে এবং তার সাথে আরও কিছু কথা বলবো আমাদের সঙ্গে থাকুন So welcome back. So I was just talking to him. I was asking him about you, how yes. he uh, he came to know you and how he knows you and what's his his opinion about you. Okay. So that's what he expressed in Bengali. I oh, hope you don't mind. No, no, of course not. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's what he was telling. He was he was telling good things about you. Good things, he, okay. he knows you for a long time <laughs> yes. and of course uh yeah, of course uh, for the last time when when you you were um in 2015 you were just telling us about that and he was with you and again he is here with you and he supports you yes mr hussein <laughs> worked very very hard in the last election for not only my riding but very many ridings in montreal and he has been a very big leader in the liberal party for the bangladeshi community especially okay yes. okay so that's what he was saying about you <clears throat> it's really good which is positive it's really good okay so good to know that and um Okay, after that, we want to know, okay, I think right now we have talked a lot. We should take a short break okay. and then we'll be back again. Perfect. We're gonna, uh, so viewers, we're going to take a short ba- break right now and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. নাগরিক টিভি আমার আপনাদের আমাদের আমরা স্বদেশের কথা বলি আমরা প্রবাসের কথা বলি আমাদের সঙ্গেই থাকুন নাগরিক টিভি সবার নাগরিক টিভির সঙ্গেই থাকুন
Hello viewers, welcome back. And now um, today's guest is Rachel Bendine and I'll go back to her to know about her a bit more. Okay, so welcome back. We came back after the break and viewers, uh, thanks for staying with us. And here, now my question to you, it's a bit personal. Okay. Now we're coming oh, to the personal, yeah, so so you have a young daughter. Yes. I heard that, and you were a, you were a new mother, right? So tell us about the importance of um, running the office and having a baby, how you're managing this. Yes, well, it's not easy to manage, as I'm sure a lot of the parents watching uh, can agree, um, but it is something that is so important for me and my family that uh, that we also, you know, are are happy and fulfilled in, in what we do, and I feel very much that I have uh, this calling uh, to be in politics, and and that it makes me also a, a better uh, mother and and wife uh, to my family. That I feel uh, that I'm making a difference uh, for our country and especially for our community in Cotonou and Outremont. Uh, my daughter is now uh, almost a year and a half, 17 months, okay. and uh, she is talking and walking, and so. It's a very exciting time for us in the house and uh, she comes with me a lot to events uh, like today and uh, and sometimes door to door when it's nice out I take oh, her with me yeah really yeah. <laughs> yeah. she's learning from there yes and <laughs> uh, being social Good start. yes exactly <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah and she I'm sure she likes it too like her mother yes yeah. <laughs> it's interesting and it's fascinating and everybody is kind to her and uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. And there's lots of smiles going around. And also your husband, he supports you, of course, he does. Extremely supportive. Okay. I don't think it would be possible for me to do this without his support. And uh, I, I really count on him as, as my, my rock and my, my support system. And so I'm very lucky to have him. Great. Okay. So now you and your campaign are recognized in Montreal for working on issues of diversity and vivre ensemble. Yes. So please tell us about this. Yes, sure. It's, it's something that's very important to the campaign. I love it. Vivre ensemble. Vivre ensemble. I think it's a beautiful oh, yeah. phrase and it doesn't necessarily uh, have an exact translation. Exactly. Um, but it's, uh, it's an important concept, I think, for everybody, especially in this uh, time where we're living with uh, a resurgence of, of populism and uh, division, uh, primarily from you know, parties to the right, uh, not only in Canada, but around the world. And uh, uh, the, the importance of, of coming together, of, of the diversity um, of Outremont and Cotonège uh, being a positive thing and being uh, an, an important point of pride for, for myself but also for everybody in the community in which we live. And, and so I have made it um, a big part of my campaign and something that, uh, that I think people have really appreciated uh, from, from speaking to, to people in, in the riding. They really see this as something positive and uh, I think we need more positive politics in, uh, in Canada and around the world. Yes, that's true. Positive everywhere. Yes. I think positivity can bring your success. Yes. Right? And another thing, so it's good you are going from door to door, diversity, a lot of people, people has their own opinion. So I'm thinking this way and someone else is thinking another way. So I think uh, everything is positive, fine, but do you find some uh, challenges as well? Certainly there are challenges everywhere and part of uh, my job I think is is to listen to what people have to say and uh, to really try and help them through their their issues but also when necessary take those issues back to Ottawa and discuss them with the, with the party and, and see what can be done. Uh, for example, uh, people in Cote d'Ange especially have been talking to me about housing and uh, the mm -hmm. necessary um, social housing that is needed for, for so many in the community there uh, and it's something that has already been responded to in our policy. I, I'm not sure if you heard but uh, the Liberal government has proposed a national housing strategy mm -hmm. um, which has 100,000 new social housing units um, earmarked for the next 10 years. That's, that's new social housing and, and I hope mm. uh, to be able to fight for, for those uh, new social housing units uh, in part to be in Cote uh, where it is needed in my community. So uh, I think it's important to listen and also to bring uh, word back to the government uh, as to what is needed. Exactly. You will be the voice of uh, people, right? I, I hope to be the voice of, yeah. of, of my community, absolutely. Exactly. And this is their basic need. This is our basic need, like housing. Yes. Uh, One of our basic needs. So if, if 
people in need can get something uh, something good what they need and that's really great Absolutely. so yeah and um, so so this is one thing housing and also other than that any other type of uh, the challenges or issues you have there that and how you're gonna overcome those there's a lot of uh, people in the community that need help with their immigration um, yes. processing. Uh, the Liberal government has already uh, made uh, the access to citizenship easier and faster, uh, which is something that is very, uh, very important to members in the Bangladeshi community and other communities. In addition, um, the uh, the ability to bring spouses also uh, to Canada once uh, once somebody is here um, that has also been addressed as a as a problem that was raised mm -hmm. by the Bangladeshi community and was specifically addressed by Prime Minister Trudeau. And so I think what we're seeing is um, a dialogue and a, and a good connection between uh, the government and the issues that people are raising. Uh, because it's important for us, as I said, to, to listen but also to respond. And also bring it to their attention, the yes. government's attention, yes. and how can be resolved these issues, right? Yes, so that's great. which would be part of uh, my job. Yeah. Uh, it's to make sure that uh, we are listening to, to people and, and taking action. That's it. Not only listening, also taking action. Yes. It's important. Okay, that's great. It, it, it's awesome. So people want to come here for a better, better life. If they can stay here, they have uh, their status here. They're getting good housing and everything is going good. That's awesome. That's what we want. And um, I'm sure it will be a very good benefit for our community as well if, if uh, you come and uh, we, can, uh, we can elect you and it will be beneficial for our community too, I'm sure. Thank you very much. Okay. Don't know about Don't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know about it. <laughs> okay, so now uh, after all these things, uh, I know you, you, what you are doing, you know what you are doing, you want to do for people, you are doing for people. Yes. I'm sure you will be doing that with your experience, uh, long experience and confidence, positivity, which is really great. And uh, your confidence level now, if I ask you from one to 10, where does it stand? I'm, I'm a very positive person, so I like to, to be optimistic about things. I'm also feeling uh, a lot of positivity from the constituents and the members of the Liberal Party yeah. in Outremont. So I'm feeling very, very good. That's great. Do you want to say something uh, for our community people? If you want to say your words, in your words, something, what do you want? And what's your expectation from them? Or uh, sure. why we should go for you? Please, you can tell them. Well, first, let me just say thank you. Uh, don't abad to the entire Bangladeshi community that has been so supportive of me over the years. In uh, the campaign in 2015, I know you were with us and uh, with the Liberal Party of Canada and Justin Trudeau. And it is thanks in part to you uh, that we were elected into government uh, in 2015. I hope we can count on your support again in the next election. I feel very privileged to work with so many of you. And uh, it's very important for you to come and vote on December 16th at uh, the University of Montreal on Jean Briand and Desselles, where we will be having our nomination vote uh, in the afternoon between 1 and 4 p.m. I hope to see you there. If you're a registered liberal in the Outremont or Cotonège area, your, uh, your vote is uh, very much uh, expected on the 16th, no matter who you vote for. I hope you participate. Thank you again for this lovely interview from Nagoric TV. It was wonderful to get to know you you and to get to know the whole team here. I want to thank Tito as well, who has been a, a really a, a great support and a great connection here at Nagoric TV. And I'll be looking at your future shows with a lot of interest and uh, hopefully coming back soon. Well, thank you so much for being here with us. It was really awesome to get to know you too. And I wish you all the best with your upcoming election. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now I have to say goodbye to my uh, viewers. And hope to see you again in the future when you go to the parliament. Shubhashunda to everybody and thank you again. Thank you so much and wish you all the best. Okay, so viewers, this uh, special episode has to come to an end. So um, I have to say goodbye to you now. And again, we will be back again with uh, another leader maybe. And up to that time, uh, I have to say goodbye to you. And thank you so much for being with us with the today in today's show and um, and that's all for today shabai bhalo thakben shusto thakben shundor thakben shubhoratri
নাগরিক টিভি আমার আপনাদের আমাদের আমরা স্বদেশের কথা বলি আমরা প্রবাসের কথা বলি আমাদের সঙ্গেই থাকুন নাগরিক টিভি সবার নাগরিক টিভির সঙ্গেই থাকুন